So today I'm here to do another q and I got some questions on Snapchat and I got 10. So I'm going to start. The first question um, that I got was, what do I think is the most overrated fashion trend? So I think at this moment, the most overrated fashion trend are those middle button up skirts. I do not like those. The ones that have the buttons that go straight up the middle and then like pockets with a button. And all of the velvet and corduroy stuff. I went into Target today and saw a pair of corduroy maroon overalls and they were hideous. So I think just that whole reemergence of like 70s stuff that has come this season is especially overrated and I'm not really liking it. So the second question was something that you have spent money on that you regret. So there's probably a lot of things that I've spent money on that I regret, but I think one of the things that's big for me is getting a handbag that is classic and that has good resale value in case you ever wanna sell it. And I think that if you get handbags that are really trendy and expensive, like just off the top of my head, I'm thinking about those Chloe saddle Drew bags and then the Valentino Rockstead purses. I just think that those will go out of style in a couple of years. So I think if you're going to spend that much money on a bag, you might as well get a classic bag versus something that's a little more trendy. So that would be something that I think is too expensive that I spent money on that I have regretted because there have been times in the past when I've gotten a trendy bag and then I've resold it and have not been able to get back what I paid for it. Okay, so the third question is what to expect with Botox and what is it like? So I get Botox, I guess maybe twice a year if that, maybe just once a year, depends on if it lasts long, which it usually doesn't for me. But I mainly get it right here and then the last time I got some right over here as well and what to expect when you get it it does not hurt at all it is just kind of like a little prick it doesn't hurt you don't feel anything and for me I don't even like to get the numbing cream beforehand because I think that's kind of a waste of time I just go in and get it and the thing that people don't really realize with Botox is that you're not gonna see the results for a whole week after so as soon as you get it you don't necessarily see the results until about seven days and then your skin just kind of starts to get tighter and it freezes it up it does not move so when I do have Botox right here I cannot do that and it's crazy it just it feels like your forehead is just frozen so like I said it lasts maybe three to four months on me so I usually get it twice a year and I'm probably due very soon for it so what to expect with Botox, it's not a big deal. If you want it, just get it. So the next question is, what is next on your travel list? We are going to Las Vegas in November for a weekend. Rob really likes UFC fights and Conor McGregor, so we're gonna go there for that fight. And we were gonna go to try to go to New York for the fight live, but the tickets were insanely expensive, so we thought it would just be fun to go to Las Vegas and to watch it there. And we are either going to do Europe again or Asia next summer, hopefully. We always like to do a longer trip in the summer. So that is what is next on our travel list. So the fifth question is, what are you paranoid about? Which is a funny question because I've gotten a lot better about what I'm paranoid about. I used to get freaked out over everything. Like if I had a bug bite, I thought that it was going to be some flesh-eating bacteria or something like that. I've gotten a lot better about medical related paranoias. They, it doesn't really bother me anymore. The things that I'm paranoid about now, I don't, I don't know that I am really paranoid about anything at this moment, but that could change, you know, within the next day. I've always kind of had anxiety. It's not horrible right now, but sometimes it does flare up and I start to get paranoid about stuff. But um, at this moment, I'm not paranoid about anything. So the next question was, what is your favorite brand for cute work clothes? Hands down, J. Crew or J. Crew Factory. That's pretty much where I get all of my work stuff, especially like work pants, work skirts, and then like button ups as well. So I think that J. Crew, I definitely shop on the sale because with J. Crew, it's guaranteed to go on sale in like three to four weeks. So there's really no reason to pay full price. 
if you just can wait. So I usually get the stuff on sale at J. Crew and then J. Crew Factory, I think right now they're having like 50% off of everything. So you can just get really good deals at those places. And I have had a lot of luck getting work clothes there. The next question was, what is your favorite Halloween movie? And I really like the original Halloweens with Michael Myers, any of the Freddy Krueger movies, and I've really been into American Horror Story the past couple of weeks. I'm watching the newest season. I watched the first season, and then I'm watching the newest season. I didn't really watch any of the ones in between, but the newest season is really crazy, so I would highly recommend that. The next question, the fashion trend that you hope never comes back again, and I think it would be the early 2000s, so like belly rings, belly chains, glitter body lotion, those scarf tank top things, the one-sided tank tops. It was just really bad. And looking back at pictures, it's pretty awful. But I really hope that does not come back into style. So the next question, your favorite products for a dewy look. And I really like, this is my favorite. It's this Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. And that's what I have on today. So I usually, this palette is completely broken, but what I usually do is just take some on a little brush and do the cheeks and then across the top of my forehead. And then I also really like the NARS Illuminators. If you want even more of a dewy look, you can take these and then pat a little bit on your cheekbones. And that will give you kind of a glowy and dewy look. So the last question, was what is your favorite food? I think it would be sushi or any sort of Asian food. I love Thai food, I love Chinese food, and I love sushi. I could eat sushi every day of the week. So that would probably be what my favorite food is. I really like Italian food too, so it's hard to choose. And that'll be it for the questions. I'll keep doing these if I keep getting questions. So if you ever have a question, you can email me or submit it to me on Snapchat or Instagram, just however you wanna do it. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye.